brought you to Germany? And why didn't you stay in Australia for the purpose you actually came here? Well, to be fair, I actually had my surgery uh, one, one, over one and a half years ago done in Australia. It was insufficient and the technology wasn't there for it to be done. I um, have looked around the world for, in seven countries and with 15 doctors I've contacted around the world and I chose this place. And it wasn't because of this place, it was I rang the suppliers of the implants and they guided me to the places and most of it is focused to Europe. And that's how I got to ONZ. What kind of surgery did you, did you have? Uh, what was the implant type and who performed your surgery? Well, I had two levels. One is the neck area and I have the lumbar area. It was done by Thomas Bestia. Um, that's how I pronounce. And uh, the implants were ESP implants, the latest, having looked at all the others around the world. When was your operation performed? The operation was done just recently, 16th, uh, 16th of uh, Jul June, sorry, here, yeah, sorry. It just looked like it fell a long time ago. And how do you feel now? How, how, when, you know, how many days you are now after surgery and how do you feel now after your surgery in your neck and your I, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised given that I had three previous operations. Pre I expected worse, but it was handled pretty well. And I think it's due to the after support of the surgery. How did you experience you know, the care, the quality of care in the, at the hospital? Oh my God, you know, you're talking about someone who's gone through three major surgeries in three different parts of the world. So I'm comparing it worldwide. I would say over 10, I would say nine over 10 or close to 10 over 10. And I mean that professionally, coming from three major surgeries. Now you're not at the hospital anymore. Where are you at now? And how do you find your experience now being at a rehab place, doing active exercises after your spine surgery? Well, it is active. You are right about that. There's, the, there's no pity here. There's work, work, work. Everyone gets you back to back. And you know, it's if, if I was to go back again and say, um, if I was in Australia, I would have to travel maybe first 10 different places to get the same type of physio and nursing. And I would have spent two days what I can do half a day here. So having it in one center in Medico uh, is without any doubt the best I've ever been, ever. Do you feel well taken care of here at the Medicos? I would say more than just care. I think uh, guidance is one of the areas. Uh, you know, you have this daunting thing that, oh my God, where do I turn? What do I do? You don't get that here. It's all well labeled and they're, they're carefully shown around. And um, those are the important things. And the part that I need to make uh, sure to all the people is, there's always someone that you can always ask. They're always there. It's not like in Australia where you find no staff for 10 minutes and you walk around like a zombie. How do you find it, how do you rate the experience that you share your experience with other people from other places of the world going through the same procedure with you? Do you make friendships or do you socialize? Do you find it um, for yourself beneficial to speak to others who are in the same boat? Yeah, I would say so, but I find that everyone here has a different surgery issue. But you're right, you do talk and you find that someone's worse than you and more better than you. But we all seem to come back to the same part. The same part of saying, you know what, we are satisfied. You know, we've been dealt with, been looked after, and we don't like the food here, it's too much. <laughs>